As I record this episode of the VO Heroes podcast, I am about to embark on a brand new project, uh, one that I know a little bit about the, the, the concepts and so on around, but an awful lot that I have no freaking clue about. And it's scary. And it's exciting. And it's scary. And it's exciting. Let's talk about scary versus exciting in this episode of the VO Heroes podcast. So I wish I could tell you how this all is going to turn out. I have no idea. I'm about to launch a new product. Uh, I shot some videos this week. I put together a launch. I did a whole bunch of stuff in a space that I'm sort of on the edges of, you know, but not, um, not as immersed in as I am in acting and voiceover. Uh, I'm talking about Narrate Your Own Book, uh, where I'm teaching authors how to narrate their own book. It's a very on-the-nose title, right? And I don't know nearly as much about the world of writing and publishing and authorship and all of the skills that go into that that I do when it comes to acting, when it comes to technology, when it comes to uh, the world of audio and video production. I don't, I don't know. And I've been experiencing the whole notion of don't make a mistake. Don't, don't share how little you know. Don't, don't, um, uh, don't let them see you sweat. And at one point, I just basically looked at myself in the mirror and I said, you don't know this stuff. You're going to learn it over time, just like you did with the stuff that you do know. And so the scary part remains. It's still like, am I going to fall flat on my face? Uh, are, are, is that world going to reject me as an interloper from the world of voiceover uh, or acting? Uh, or are they going to embrace me or somewhere in between? Who knows? It's still scary to a degree. And again, as I record this, I haven't even released the product yet. But then there's the exciting part. Like... I can see data on my, my dashboards, multiple dashboards. People are watching these videos that I'm putting out. People are joining the informative and, you know, strategy and tactic filled mailing list that I'm, I created to support it. And people, I don't know if they're going to buy it. Maybe they did. Maybe down the line, I'll do another thing where I say, hey, it worked. I, probably not, but maybe. But I'm excited about that. I'm excited to find out. And it's been such a great learning experience. And it really illuminated for me the difference, the contrast between being scared about something and being excited about something. And the fact that the two can coexist. And doesn't that happen to us all the time in what we do for a living? Doesn't it? I mean, you embark on a product, a project or a product, you don't know how it's going to turn out. You're going to do an audition. You're going to do some sample writing. Who knows? Who knows how it's going to turn out? We don't know. But it's exciting. And it's a little scary. What do I wear? What do I say? What do I do? Right? I don't know. It's kind of scary. But the two can coexist. And when they do... That's like a sweet spot for me because I know I'm going to learn a lot. I feed on those feelings of being scared and being excited. And it just, it's like, it's like not a love language, but a life language. The notion of trying something new, striking out into territory that other people would rather be caught dead than, than to do, like people ask me all the time, why do you do this? Why do you do this? And say, you could go get a job at a dot com or a tech startup or, a, you know, you could be a, a you know, a, a, an executive. Why, why do you do this? Because it's so much fun. It's so exciting. Yeah, it's a little scary, but it's like, I love it. And I'm wondering if that's how you feel sometimes as well. Maybe you feel that in what you have learned from me. 
or while you're learning from me, or while we've worked together on a project. I don't know who you are watching this. I can't tell. I just know how much that feeds me and how good it is. And I hope it's good. Let me know. I hope you have these feelings and they're good. Let me know in the comments below. Tell me what you're thinking. Uh, you can hit the like button if you want to. Just, just nail it, right? Because you like what you're hearing. You can subscribe to the channel. You can hit the notification bell. Let you know when the next episode comes out. I'm David H. Lawrence, the 17th. I thank you so much for watching and for listening. And I will see you in the next episode of the VO Heroes podcast.